unboxing video on some safety jacks. Uh, we purchased these jacks to use with our 10,000 pound hoist to add an additional safety measure. You are supposed to use them when you're pushing the limits of the hoist or when you're removing an engine that'll disrupt the balance of the vehicle. All right, so what we're working with today are these big red jacks that we purchased on sale from Princess Auto. They are two-ton jacks. They have different sizes for you. We chose the two-ton, and we got a good price on them. And the working limits of these two-ton jacks, the minimum is 48 and 3 quarters of an inch, and the max is 84 and 7 sixteenths of an inch. All right, we're going to open the box and lay out what we got. gone through the manifest and all the parts are here. Uh, we've gone through the manual and the instructions are easy to read and easy to follow. All right, we're starting our assembly. Just remember that the long brace is going to end up at the unboxed end of the angle iron. As we attach the second brace, you'll notice that they are threaded, which is a nice feature so you don't lose any nuts. All right, now we are attaching the last bottom brace, and then we'll move up to the next level. All right, now we've moved up one, and we are starting with the middle braces now. Alright, as we're completing the middle section of the braces, I just want to let everyone know that all of the bolts are 14 mil. Alright, now we're going to be attaching the saddle brace with the provided nuts and bolts. And the nuts and bolts are 17 mil here. Usually a socket and wrench is helpful. Alright, finally we're going to connect the guide plate to the top braces and uh, bolt that all in. These are also 17 mil. Alright, now we're going to attach the uh, top bracket to the frame. Okay, at this point we're going to assemble the pillar and the threaded rod which has to be turned upside down. Drop in place, pull it out. All right, so this comes with a bearing. In the manual, it does not say anything about greasing this bearing. However, it is a greasable bearing. We're just gonna put a light coat of lithium grease. Here's the top. Then we have our bearings. And then this is the bottom. We reassemble. And then install. Okay, now we're going to install the thrust bearing. And the screw handle. Now we're going to install the center post into the stand. Using the pin and then there's a cotter pin and a washer. Now we're 
about to apply the saddle. However, we notice the surface here is a little bit on an angle, so we're going to grind it down so it's level, and then we will install the saddle. Okay, now we've ground the saddle mount flat, and now we can install the saddle with a 17 mil bolt. All right, they're all assembled and we are very impressed with the quality. And in the next video, we are gonna show you how to use them with your voice.